In last couple of lectures, we have already discussed commutation in DC machines. And then we discussed problems in commutation. If you could remember in last class, in fact, in last lecture, we discussed the problems in commutation. I broadly classified them as armature reaction and LDI by DT voltage. Where armature reaction is basically the distortion in the main field of a machine because of the magnetic field of the armature current. That is whenever machine is connected to the load or whenever a DC generator is connected to a load and current flows through the load because of that current armature produces a magnetic field of its own which interacts or which distorts the magnetic field produced by the main poles of the machine. This effect you call as armature reaction. Now this armature reaction basically causes two problems in the machine. First one was magnetic neutral plane shift and second one was flux weakening. By magnetic neutral plane shift what we mean is In a DC machine, since the voltage produced inside the machine are AC and in order to rectify them, in order to convert them to the DC voltage at the terminals of a machine, we require a mechanism that is known as commutation. During this process of commutation, there is an instant when a particular coil is moving from North Pole to South Pole or moving from South Pole to North Pole that is, is in between the interpolar region there is an instant when this turn or when this coil is being short circuited by the brush that is the brush short circuits two commutator segments and to these two commutator segments are connected the two ends of a particular coil. In case of an ideal DC machine the instant when the brush used to short circuit the two commutator segments, the coil attached to the two commutator segments, which are being short circuited by the brush, was equal to zero. You can refer to the lecture notes of last class. Why is the voltage zero? Because the 
brush short circuits two commutator segments at which the coil lies in the magnetic neutral plane so voltage induced in the coil is zero if you short circuit a coil which has zero voltage across it it won't create any problems but in real machines what we observed was that when you connect the load to the machine this magnetic neutral plane does not stay at its place this keeps on changing as the load or as the current drawn from the machine changes so now when the brush short circuits two commutator segments the coil attached or the coil connected to these two commutator segments does not have zero voltage induced across it because this does not lie in the magnetic neutral plane as magnetic neutral plane has shifted so there is sparking in the brushes and commutator segments and huge circulating currents which tends to increase the wear and tear of the machine and reduce the life of machine commutator segments and brushes also because of this neutral plane shift or because of this armature reaction there is one more effect that is flux weakening the flux tends to bunch up at one side of the pole and decrease at the other end of the pole since the machine is already operated near the knee point the region under the pole where the magnetomotive forces add up flux does not increase much but under the region where the magnetomotive forces subtract from each other there is a considerable reduction in the flux thus the overall effect is that the flux under the pole decreases what you call as flux weakening then i discussed with you that in generators this flux weakening will reduce the voltage produced by the generator for the same current and this flux weakening can have a severe or serious impact on the motors why because in motors flux weakening will increase the speed of motor increasing speed of motor means it will draw more current from the source drawing more current from the source means more armature reaction more armature reaction means more flux weakening more flux weakening means again increase in speed increase in speed means drawing more current from the mains this can be a cumulative effect till this speed can continuously increase of the motor till it goes to the runaway condition or till it damages itself this is what we have discussed till now now how do we solve these problems in a real dc machine the problems with the commutation basically there have been three approaches to solve the problems of commutation number 1 is known as brush shifting number 2 is known as commutating poles or interpoles and number 3 is known as compensating poles sorry compensating windings let's take one at a time brush shifting let me show this with the help of a diagram
is north pole this is south pole so dot for conductors under the north pole cross for conductors under the south pole this was the magnetic neutral plane let me call this as old neutral plane what is voltage induced across this conductor it is zero voltage across this conductor it is zero and we know the brushes short circuit this winding when this let's uh, name this let's call this a and a prime you can refer to the last class notes as well these two ends a and a prime are connected to the commutator segments such that the brushes short circuit the two ends of a and a prime when this a and a prime lie in this magnetic neutral plane and we discussed at that time that there is no problem with this why there is no problem with this because there is no voltage induced across a and a prime when there is no voltage induced across a and a prime even if you short circuit this coil let's suppose this is this is a side this is a prime side even if you short circuit this if this voltage is zero this voltage is zero there won't be any current over here any short circuiting currents over here so this is not a problem but when you connect load to this machine now there is a current flow through this machine whenever there is a current flow through this machine so current will come out of here current will go into here so this these three conductors will produce a magnetic field of its own these three will produce a magnetic field of its own so that magnetic field will interact with this main magnetic field and the result is that the magnetic flux inside the machine distorts or changes because now you have two magnetic fields one because of this main magnetic field and second because of the armature current so you have two magnetic fields now and there is a resultant magnetic field the effect is that this magnetic neutral plane does not stay in this position now this magnetic neutral plane shifts in last class we showed that this magnetic neutral plane shifts if this is the direction of rotation this magnetic neutral plane shifts in the direction of rotation for the generator i will take the case of generator so this becomes new neutral plane if this is neutral plane so on this side is north pole till this point and on this side is south pole till this point so to the right of the new neutral plane is south pole to the left of the new neutral plane is north pole and this is the neutral plane now tell me what is voltage induced across this conductor a is it zero no why is it not zero because this is now under the south pole in the case before this was in the neutral plane b was zero so voltage induced was zero now this conductor is not inside is not in the it does not lie on the neutral plane this lies in the south pole for south pole this will be cross this lies under north pole so this will be dot so this is voltage over here let's suppose this is a is cross suppose this is negative this is positive this is positive this is negative so negative positive negative positive now there is a voltage over here e and e there's a voltage of 2e across there and you if you short circuit these two sides using a commutator segment or use using the brushes you are short circuiting a voltage so there will be a current flow that current flow will be through the brushes 
that current will be through the commutator segment, through the brush and through the winding. What is the solution for this? One simple solution that comes to the mind is why not to shift the brushes such that they will short circuit why not to shift the brushes itself such that they will short circuit the windings when they are at the new neutral plane that is when this a reaches here and this a prime reaches here not in this position but in this position that's what is known as brush shifting i will repeat this once more the first thing that comes to the mind is why not to smooth the brushes why not to shift the brushes here such that they will short circuit the coil where in that position when the voltage across that coil is zero that is when the coil reaches here and here so i will have to shift the brushes here but the problem with this is that this magnetic neutral plane shift depends upon the current or depends upon the load on the generator or depends upon the current through the motor when zero current is drawn from the generator this neutral plane is here old neutral plane this neutral plane stays here as we increase the current this keeps on moving keeps on moving keeps on moving and at rated current this say comes here if you adjust your brushes such that they short circuit the windings when they are placed at this new neutral plane then there will be no circulating currents when this machine is supplying the rated load when this machine supplies the rated load there will be no short cir circulating currents over here because there is no voltage induced at this point but when the load on the machine is less than the rated value or when this machine is unloaded there will definitely be short circulating currents so what it effectively means is that we continuously have to adjust we continuously have to adjust the brushes here as we change load on the machine this means when machine is drawing zero load or when machine is supplying zero load you keep brushes here as load on the machine increases you move the brushes load increases further you move the brushes further you keep on moving them load decreases you move, get it back this is one problem what is the problem with this magnetic neutral plane shift is the function of the current or armature current there is one more effect which is in fact severe than this effect that is brush shifting causes the flux to bunch up even more at saturated parts of pole faces
what this means is in other words that flux weakening is aggravated flux weakening aggravates so flux weakening is more when you shift the brushes why let me show you why flux weakens when magnetic neutral plane was here main mmf was in this direction because this is north this is south so this is mmf let's call this fp and mmf due to armature reaction since this is dot in this side cross on this side if you assume current is coming out here going into here so it's in this direction so this is direction of like this right hand screw rule or right hand thumb rule this is direction of flux this is direction of current so this is direction of magnetic field so in this direction this is mmf let's call this fr mmf due to armature reaction if this is fp this is fr the resultant mmf in the machine is given by this let's call this f net now when we shift the brushes fr will be in this direction so it will look like fp fr this is f net you can clearly see that f net net magnetomotive force here is less than the magnetomotive force over here if we take same magnitudes of fp and fr because here angle between fp and fr is 90 degree this is what you call as cross magnetizing here angle between fp and fr is greater than 90 degrees this you call as demagnetizing so here a component of armature reaction basically is opposite to the main field and thus the net mmf in the machine is less than this case when mmf is less flux is less that's what you call as flux weakening flux in the machine reduces so what we discussed is one simple method was to shift the brush so that the brushes will short circuit the two commutator segments whenever the coils attached to those commutator segments lie along the new neutral plane this brush shifting had two problems one was 
you had to adjust the brush every time you change the load on the machine. And second problem was whenever you change the brushes, whenever you shift the brushes, this basically worsens the problem of flux weakening. That means though you are helping a bit with the neutral plane shift, but you are worsening the problem of flux weakening. This method brush shifting is hardly used in generators. Nowadays, this brush shifting, you can find this brush shifting method being used for very small DC motors, usually less than one kilowatt. For higher rating motors and for generators, you won't see brush shifting technique being used to solve the problems in computation. Then why do we use this for small rating motors? The answer is economy. This is the cheapest method that we can use to solve the problem of computation to some extent. So for motors of very small rating, you will find that brush shifting is being used to solve the problem of magnetic neutral plane shift where manually an operator keeps on adjusting the brushes to reduce the sparking. But you cannot help with flux weakening and you cannot help with LDABDT. That will remain as it is. We'll discuss commutating poles and compensating windings in next lecture. Thank you.